explain to me why is it always evident? Why is it so evident that our people need to have structure? Why is it necessary to give people guidelines and direction and, and you know, and, and barriers and, and, you know, things of that nature? What lines not to cross, what, what line you can cross, how far you can go without being predatory? Mm -hmm. Explain that, sir. It's a great, that's a great question. What, what I first came to realize is that African people, I like to say this up front, that I only write for African people, I only think for African people, I only speak for African people. So the things that I come up with are based on African people. And so what I understood early on about African people is that we are, in fact, nature people. We are nature. Like we, are, we are, in fact, the cosmos. And so when I look at the cosmos, I see the structural order within the cosmos. So therefore, we should be resembling what we see around us. And so then when I began to look at the societies, all the societies that predate the invasions, you see the structure, you see the order, right. you see um, how we've done things, right. the processes that allow us to maximize our growth and development. Right. Um, what makes those things important? Because we are human beings and we possess the ability to go ego core, so we can go up or go down, mm. right? Mm. That's, that's, that's a part of our genius of being human beings. Like we can ascend to our highest heights, or we can sink to the lowest depth. Yes. We can do either or. Yes. So it becomes incumbent upon us as human beings, we understand here we go for development to create the structure, the principles, uh, and the prescriptions that's going to maximize our development. Right. That's going to move us upward rather than down. Right. So that's why those instructions become important because at the end of the day, we are supposed to strive towards righteousness. We're supposed to be righteous. And we need those guidelines to move us towards righteousness.